Magandang araw mga classmate. Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay ang pagpapatuloy ng lesson natin about multiplication of polynomials. So this time, ang magiging focus ng ating lesson ay kung paano mag-multiply ng two or more polynomials. So let us start. So let's say we have to multiply two binomials such as quantity of x plus 3 times x plus 5. So, in this lesson, uh, dalawang uh, way yung ipapakita ko sa inyo. Yung isa, yung tinatawag nating horizontal form kung saan uh, isosolve natin yung uh, given through uh, distributive property. Then, the other one, although still, gagamit pa rin tayo ng distributive property, pero vertical form. Okay, so let's start. So, yung uh, unang gagawin natin is uh, horizontal form. Okay. So, when we have x plus 3 times x plus 5, so yung ating unang term doon sa ating uh, multiplicand, which is x, so i-distribute natin sa x and then positive 5. So, that will result to x times x plus 5. Then, yung second natin na multiplicand, which is positive 3. So, same, mimumultiply natin sa x and positive 5. So, using distributive property, so x times x, we have x square. Then, x times 5, we have positive 5x. So, yung next set natin, we have uh, 3 times x or positive 3 times x. We have positive 3x. And then, 3 times 5 is 15. So, ito na yung ating uh, partial product. Partial kasi we can uh, simplify this uh, partial product by combining like terms. So, itong 5x at 3x. So, pwede nating i-combine. So, if we're going to rewrite the answer, we have x square. So, yung sum ng 5x at 3x is 8x plus 15. Okay. So, ito na ngayon yung product ng ating dalawang binomial. So, if we're going to perform yung vertical form or yung vertical way ng multiplication sulat natin yung uh, unang uh, expression we have x plus 3 multiplied to x plus 5 okay so unlike yung usual natin ginagawa kapag uh, nagmumultiply or nagaad tayo vertically kung saan uh, dito tayo sa ones digit yung right side tayo lagi nag start So, sa multiplication ng uh, polynomials, so yung first term ang ating uh, titingnan, yung first term ng multiplier. So, yung first term ng multiplier, imumultiply natin sa first term ng multiplicand. Then, after nun, imumultiply natin sa second term ng ating multiplicand. Okay, start tayo. So, we have x times x, so this is uh, x squared. Again, ang ginagamit natin dito ay yung uh, different law of uh, exponent, yung uh, product rule. So next, we have x times 3. We have positive 3x. So after nito, dito tayo sa second term ng ating multiplier. So same procedure, dito muna sa first term ng ating uh, multiplicand. Then, second term nung multiplicand. So, 5 times x, we have 5x. Okay. So, isusulat ko siya align dito sa 3x since they are similar term. And then, 5 times 3, so we have positive 15. Okay. So, take note of this, mga classmate. Ano? So, sa pagsulat ng sagot, especially uh, yung ating second row na product, So, make sure na siya ay naka-align dun sa kaparehas niyang term para mas madali nating i-combine yung similar term. So, if we're going to combine this, so we'll have 
to bring down x square and then add 3x and 5x so we have 8x and then bring down positive 15 okay so still ito pa rin yung ating naging product so parehas lang yung ating naging sagot so, let's move on with our second example. We have 7x plus 3 times the quantity of 4x squared minus 5x plus 6. So, through a horizontal form, we'll have first term of multiplicand 7x. So, yung multiply natin sa ating second expression of 4x squared minus 5x plus 6. Then, yung second term we have positive 3 again. Mumultiply natin sa 4x square minus 5x plus 6. So again, using distributive property, so iisa-isahin natin yung 7x na i-multiply dito sa terms na nasa loob ng parenthesis. So 7x times 4x square, so pwede rin namang 7 times 4, 28, and then x times x square. So, we have x cubed or x raised to 3. Then, 7x times negative 5x. So, we have negative 35 x square. Then, 7x times uh, 6. So, we have positive 42 x. So, let's move on with this part. So, 3 times 4 x squared. We have positive 12 x square. And then positive 3 times negative 5x, we have negative 15. Then uh, x, then 3 times 6, so we have positive 18. So yung susunod na step natin, we can now combine like terms. So yung x cubed na coefficient, so wala siyang uh, kaparehas dun sa ating naging partial product. So, pwede na natin siyang i rewrite as 28x cubed. So, negative 35x square at yung ating positive 12x square pwede natin i-combine. So, negative 35 plus 12 is kunin natin yung uh, sign ng may mataas na absolute value. So, ito ay 23x square and then Itong 42x tsaka 15x pwede nang i-combine. So that will result to positive 27x then plus 18. Okay, so ito na yung product ng ating dalawang polynomials. Okay, so kung gagawin naman natin yung vertical form, so, pwede rin maging uh, 4x square minus 5x plus 6. So, if you will notice, uh, ang ginawa kong multiplier is 7x plus 3. So, parang dalawang beses lang ako magmumultiply dito sa ating uh, expression na to. Although, pwede naman siyang magkabaliktad. So, by commutative law, so, still, parehas pa rin naman na magiging sagot. Okay, so let's proceed to multiplication. So, we have 7x times 4x square. So, this is 28x cubed. With 7x times uh, negative 5x, we have negative 35x square. 7x times uh, 6 we have positive 42x. So, using the uh, second term ng multiplier, we have 3 times uh, 4x squared. So, this is 12 or positive 12x squared. Again, so, naka-align sila. So, 3 times uh, negative 5x, we have negative 15x. And then, 3 times 6, we have positive 18. Again, so ito yung ating partial product, itong dalawang to, kasi pwede pa nating i-combine. So, bring down 28x cubed, then combining negative 35 and 12, so we have negative 23x square, 
So, 42x minus 15x. So, we have positive 27x plus 18. So, still, parehas yung nakuha natin na product. For our last example, we have uh, two trinomials. So, i-multiply natin 6y square minus 3y plus 16. 2, 4y cubed minus 14y plus 5. Again, using horizontal form by distributive property. So, itong term na to, i-multiply natin dito. So, ganun din yung second term at yung third term. Okay, so isa-isa natin. So, we have 6y square times 4y cubed minus 14y plus 5. So, yung second uh, term, we have negative 3y times 4y cubed minus 14y plus 5. And lastly, ito yung ating pangatlong term sa unang expression. We have positive 16 times 4y cubed minus 14y plus 5. So, we can now uh, proceed to multiplication. So, we have 6y squared uh, times 4y cubed. We have 24y to the fifth power. Next, 6y multiply dito. So, we have negative 84y raised to the third power. Then, 6y squared times uh, 5, we have positive 30y square. So, natapos na natin yung unang set ng multiplication. Dito na pa tayo sa pangalawang set. So, we have negative 3y times 4y cubed. We have negative 12. Okay. So, ibahin natin yung kulay. So, we have negative 12y raised to the fourth power then, negative 3 times uh, ne negative 3y times negative 14y, we have positive 42y square. Then, negative 3y times 5, we have negative 15y. Okay, so tapos na tayo dun sa ating pangalawang set. So, yung last, we have 16 times uh, 4y cube, we have... 64 or positive 64y raised to the third power. 16 times negative 14y. So, ito medyo malaki. So, this is negative 224y. And lastly, we have 16 times 5. This is positive 80. Again, so ito yung ating partial product. So, pwede nating i-simplify by looking at uh, each term. So, yung mga pwede nating i-combine. So, mag-umpisa tayo sa may pinakamataas na degree. So, yun yung mga tip na dapat nating tandaan. So, yung uh, merong uh, power of 5 ang, exp uh, ang kanyang exponent. So, yung 24y raised to the 5th power. So, wala siyang kaparehas na term. So, i-rewrite lang natin. So, dito tayo sa degree 4, ito. So, wala rin. So, diretso na natin uh, kopyahin. So, kung ganyang mahaba, so pwede natin i-cancel yung mga naisulat na natin. So, para hindi tayo nalilito, no? Next, degree 3 tayo. So, meron tayong dalawang terms. So, negative 84y raised to 3 plus 64y raised to 3. So, kapag kinumbay natin, so this is equal to negative 20y raised to 3. Okay. Next, degree, uh, nasa ano tayo? Degree 2. Ito. So, kumbay natin 30y square plus 42y uh, square, we have Positive 72y square. 
Asil na natin para mabawasan na. Next, in degree 1, ito. So, since parehas negative, ko combine lang natin. So, negative uh, 239. Why? And lastly, yung constant term natin na uh, positive 80. Okay. So, that's it. Ito na yung ating sagot sa multiplication. So, I hope ay uh, meron kayong natutunan sa lesson natin sa araw na ito. And uh, feel free to share this uh, video to others, especially sa iba pa nating classmate, para mas marami pa tayong matulungan iba. Until next time!